Capricorn, welcome to your zodiac sign timeless reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter placements in your birth chart. Remember, these are general. Not every Capricorn will be going through this scenario before us today. So please only take what resonates. Leave the rest for someone else if it doesn't apply. And if it resonates for you, please give it a like. Hit that thumbs up is all I ask. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your beautiful, wonderful comments, your donations. It's all very much appreciated. And remember, if I say he, it could be a she. If I say she, it could be a he. It'll be different for all my viewers out there. So flip it how it works for you. And yes, I am doing a reading for Capricorn, but sometimes the energy can can be vice versa. So take it how it resonates for you. And let's see what's happening for Capricorn. Timeless. Yes, these are timeless. All right, let's see what, what is going on. Fire. Let go of emotional upheaval and embrace the renewal of the present. All right. Luck. You are right to be strong and optimistic about the opportunities ahead. Beautiful. And patience. Slow down, change your attitude, and clear your mind. All right. With wish. Your heart's desire is ready to come true. Okay, so what I'm seeing here, Capricorn, luck obviously definitely on your side. Didn't come without certain t frustrations, of course, is what I'm seeing here. You have been very patient, okay, while you have gone through something here, personally, um, involving other people or a specific person here. Um, so, you know, you're... you're thoughts or frustrations about this person could you know go up and down from time to time you know something that still maybe festers a little bit but at the same time you understand that that's in the past and you're moving forward and you are right to be optimistic okay overall you're staying optimistic about your future and any future opportunities that are coming towards you. So I'm getting the three of wands in my mind's eye, which is looking forward to a new day, new opportunities, and um, um, receiving the fruits of your labor, okay, coming towards you, and all your wish fulfillments that you've been patiently, so patiently waiting on, okay? So your heart's desire will be fulfilled it's just like you had to go through a moment. Um, could be also of self-discovery, self-awareness, and seeing a situation from a higher perspective and just kind of allowing yourself to go through the motions and surpass any frustrations. That's what I'm feeling here. Yeah, we have the sun. Open your heart to the enormous growth ahead. Whatever ended behind you is behind you natural endings abound take care with your health okay and love surrounds all your connections move forward positively in all areas of your life okay beautiful so something is definitely over you're done with that you're moving forward it was an emotional upheaval is what I'm seeing but you're letting it burn luck is on your side and um, patience maybe a little more patience is required okay all right so divine timing is what I'm getting with whatever this heart's desire this wish fulfillment is about okay so let's see one more shuffle spirit Trust your intuition. Yeah. Letting something burn. Trusting your intuition and moving forward. No going back is what I'm hearing. Confessions. Okay. So whatever you anticipate hearing or someone confessing, you're, you are, it says you are right to be strong and optimistic about the opportunities ahead. 
someone will confess something. There is always a way. Yeah, with patience, slow down, change your attitude, and clear your mind. Okay? There is always a way. There could be something that is a wish fulfillment, something you really want, whether it's in connection to someone or some sort of opportunity where you may feel, wow, there's no way that's going to come together. But there's spirit is saying, oh yeah, there's always a way. They're working behind the scenes. Just give it a little more time. So spirit's about to show you that your desires are truly within reach and that they will come true. Okay? Because luck is here. Take action. All right? With perfect moments and decluttering. So whatever is happening, somebody may be moving out or moving, whatever this is, a perfect moment will arise where there's a confession being made and someone is taking action. Okay, because of a, con a, a connection, I, I was going to say because of a situation, but it could be in connection to something that someone feels discontent in. So this could be new love coming in. Maybe they're going to through upgrades in their system or this is you. Okay, you could be discontent with a situation. You're decluttering. Maybe you're letting go of something and moving out. And uh, it's the perfect time to take that action. And maybe, you know, say what you have to say. And we have create and progress. So whatever upgrades to your system are happening right now, updates, you're going to get a more, a more creative spark, okay? Um, there's something about sacrifices to bossing up. So this could be, you know, um, I'm getting like priorities, sacrificing something so that you have time to boss up and, and focus on something else. I'm also getting here. So if you take time, yeah, prioritize, yeah, exactly, in reflection. If you take time to do something that maybe perhaps it's better served with your career or creation, I mean, you're at a sign that always overworks. So um, it, I don't feel it's something you, you um, have an issue with doing. It's something about priori prioritizing your time. If, you, if you're trying to reach a certain goal in your life. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing. Let's see what else, Capricorn. Let's see. And it could be because you've been like, you know, frustrated mentally with some other issue. Okay. That's for some of you. Let's see, let's see what's going on. Many things abound is what I'm hearing. The Ten of Cups. Trust your intuition. Also, I'm seeing trust your intuition when it comes to maybe family members or anything like that. Okay. The magician with confession, somebody's going to manifest you or you're manifesting someone and you're you're going to confess something. But I feel like you are right to be strong in your optimism about something and I feel like this is coming to you. Something you've been wanting to hear or something like that. Queen of Swords with There is Always a Way. All right. There's always a way. Stay sharp. Yeah, I feel like there's something that is making you look at something very logically. Um, you know, maybe even a little pessimism here. The spirit is telling you to stay optimistic. Okay, because there's always a way. Where there's a will, there's a way. Ace of Pentacles. So trust your intuition when it comes to maybe uh, someone you want to start a family with. Okay, someone you would love to marry. 
Um, oh, okay. So what I'm seeing here. There's something about letting go of an idea of marriage with someone. I don't know if that's you or them. Or something that has to do with money and family. There's some sort of upheaval about some sort of gift. This could be even like a family gift, a family home. Um something about some sort of asset or like family um, jewels or something like that it's almost like you gotta let go of um, whatever this was about because you're gonna be manifesting other things here that nobody can take from you it, that's what it feels like Okay, so maybe you had a little tiff with a family member or family members about some sort of tangible asset, no matter how big or small that is. Yeah, the founder is the emperor with the magician, with confessions. Okay, so either you're going to be opening up about what you're optimistic about, what you strongly feel intuitively about, or somebody's doing this when it comes to you. We have the Aries energy, Sagittarius energy here. We have um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We have the Two of Swords. Yeah, there's there's something about you <laughs> being stuck in a mental space here about something. Uh, this could be part of the frustration, not having full clarity on something. The Spirit is saying there is always a way. Seven of Cups, Four of Wands, and Page of Pentacles. With Anxiety, Nine of Swords. The lovers. I heard a lovers quarrel. Yeah, there, there's something about letting go of a lover. There could be financial ties there with the eight of pentacles, nine of wands. This could be somebody you work with. Or somebody is in their head about that. Okay. This is somebody, this emperor may want to confess to you that they they see you as long term. They have a lot of anxiety over this though. There, there's a message, there's a, a confession. But somebody is like super anxious about it. With the lovers, this is a divine connection. Five of Swords is here with the um, the Page of Cups and the Death Card. But letting go. So somebody, I don't know if this is you or them, somebody is anxious. There's a major like decision that somebody has to make here. And it has to do with love. Either somebody's going to marry someone or follow their intuition and let it go. So that they can confess to you how they feel. The magician. So there is someone you're manifesting. Or an opportunity. Take it how it resonates. That you've been wondering in your head about. And maybe feeling like there's no way like things are going to turn in my favor but luck is on your side spirit is making sure of that you're going to have wish fulfillment with someone that is making a huge 
choice a decision in their life where it completely shifts their path as well as yours because it is a manifestation and the per whoever they were engaged to or, or about to get engaged to. Okay, some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. I had something similar, but, but this is a little bit different. This is a time of major, like, you know, aquare, uh, uh, awakening clarity, right? Coming to light. A major time of a lot of um, transformation you know, um, chaos in order to have order. And it's happening at a conscious level for a lot of people. Um, a lot of epiphanies, clarity coming to the surface, intuition being sharpened, seeing things from a much higher perspective. And there's a lot of change happening in people's lives. So you're going to see this type of energy a lot. As people are getting more in tune with themselves they're also getting more in tune with what they want to see in their life, like how they want to live the rest of their life, with who. So cutting out people, places, things, lovers, um, jobs, careers, things that they they just simply don't connect to anymore. And I feel like somebody here is definitely in that headspace. And this is a manifestation. This is someone that, with the emperor and the lovers, this is a divine counterpart. And it is coming together. Spirit wants you to know that. And you know about this, I feel. But it, it could have been like frustrating because of other situations. So it might have left you in a, in a space of, I don't think this is going to happen. But it is. Luck is on your side. Okay, so let's clarify this Ace of Pentacles. And again, this could be a situation you're in um, when it comes to letting go of someone. So trust your intuition so that you can manifest whatever it is that you truly desire here. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. Because this is a decision that somebody's making to have this Ace of Pentacles. But somebody had to go through the maze here. The labyrinth. Wow. Ten of Swords. Yeah. Somebody may feel letting go of someone may, may, may feel like it's a betrayal to someone else. Um, so they need the strength and courage to let something go. And for some of you, like I was saying earlier, some of you be were betrayed when it came to family and some sort of asset. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. Something will be returned to you. Yeah, there could be somebody like really jealous of you. Okay. There could be peop this could be a family member, a Queen of Cups. Because I feel like you're the Queen of Pentacles, right? If somebody betrayed you about an inheritance, a home, or some sort of jewels, uh, you know, um, something that would have put you in a in a good financial situation, somebody did something here to betray that, to betray you out of jealousy. They didn't want you to be financially stable when it came to whatever this asset was, uh, whoever this Queen of Cups is. There's a King of Cups and a Two of Cups situation. I'm also seeing, okay, so, so that message was for somebody here. On the flip side, I'm also seeing when it comes to this Emperor and somebody here, there's mutual feelings here with King and Queen of Cups, but somebody in the middle here 
with arguments. Somebody is in a lot of conflict with someone that they need to, uh, you know, part ways with. So that this can come together. It's a more balanced connection with the Two of Cups and Temperance. Okay. And somebody could have been held back for some time because of, you know, conflict and drama in their life with someone else. And there's the lovers. And yeah, Ace of Swords. This is confession. Okay, somebody wants to tell you that they like you. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Okay, they're more than like you. They, they see this as um, having victory and success with the Chariot. Yeah, Four of Wands with the Ten of Pentacles. I'm telling you. Yeah, they were in a toxic relationship before with the Hierophant and the Devil. Two of Wands. Okay. So this is somebody looking towards the future, or this is you. Take it how it resonates. But um, somebody's making the right choice. And, you know, it has somebody in a bitter energy. Somebody else in a bitter energy. Tell me about this emperor. The hangman. Okay, they may be trying to... Either you or this person may be trying to see... Yeah, the emperor how they're going to go about confessing this. Also a moment of suspension because maybe somebody has to break somebody's heart here. Yeah, they definitely want to give to the situation with the High Priestess and the Six of Pentacles. They're keeping it a secret, of course. And yeah, weighing the pros and cons with the Two of Pentacles and the Two of Swords with the three of pentacles could be asking for advice here to somebody they trust or you are asking for advice take it how it resonates yeah the tower with the five cups that's definitely coming to an end it was an illusion seven of cups that they could have the Ten of Cups with someone that was an illusion or that you can have the Ten of Cups with somebody that wasn't meant for you. There's something new here. Yeah, Five of Wands came out again. There could be a little inner conflict about taking this path. But it's the right path. They may be, um, you or them, somebody here may be fearful of confessing how they feel and it not being reciprocated. Tell me about this Two of Swords. Knight of Swords. Okay. Yeah, I feel like somebody's just going to make a, a, like a quick judgment call here. And decision. A blind decision. Knight of Swords. The Moon. I'm seeing Astro Travel here as well. Somebody could be traveling at night. Yeah, Five of Cups. Somebody's suffering in silence. They just want to get away from a situation. Yeah. There's a new connection here. But there's a lot of jealousy and conflict about this. Okay, there may be somebody else that may be jealous about this connection coming together as well. Somebody that you're not happy with here. Yeah. The death card with the five of cups. Seven of wands. Seven of Swords.
Yeah, I'm getting something else here. Somebody did some sort of death spell here. Where's this coming from? But you are protected. So is this a, like a Queen of Swords in reverse? There's always a way. Somebody's trying to like keep someone stuck by putting them under a spell. This Emperor. Oh, so I don't know who's dealing with that, but that's what I'm seeing. It, this this may backfire on somebody. Yeah, five of cups with the moon. And the Knight of, Knight of Swords with the Death card here? Mm. That's not that's not a good sign. Um, they may have wished for you to get in some sort of accident or this Emperor because they left them. So they might have took this as a betrayal. Okay, somebody definitely messes with magic here. Dark magic. Clarify this Queen of Swords. So they're the ones that need to change their attitude. We have Temperance. Hold on, that fell on the floor. Six of Swords, yeah. Yeah, somebody needs definitely more balance in their life. So either you're moving away from a Queen of Swords or some or this person coming towards you, this Emperor is moving away from a Queen of Swords in reverse. Six of Swords learning a lesson there. Yeah, going towards the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups. Somebody wants to be happy. Yeah, with the world. It's a whole new cycle. Okay. And closing out a chapter with a queen of swords somebody feels they were a fool for falling in this trap yeah and they're healing but this this person got this person under some sort of spell I don't know if they know but they need to cleanse their energy whoever this emperor is so there may be people doing some something towards this masculine, uh, whether they're male or female. Trying to keep them stuck with the hangman. Yeah, they could be definitely working with other people. They could have hired a practitioner here. Wow. This, whoever this is is trying to keep this person from coming towards you. They're very jealous about you. This emperor could have it like put, well put together or something. And maybe this person was benefiting. Okay, that's where I was getting the, the whole inheritance thing. This could be a copycat. So somebody was enjoying what was not meant for them. Um, but they... This is somebody sneaky. They, they knew exactly what they were doing when they got into a connection with whoever that is. This emperor. And uh, were enjoying, you know, acting like this emperor owed them something financially, enjoying the fruits of their labor. That's what I'm getting. And they turned to magic to get what they want. So somebody wants to confess something. The magician, clarify. Yeah, this emperor is manifesting. Keeps coming out. Yeah, ten of pentacles. They were in a toxic connection. The devil with the hierophant could be a Taurus for some of you. Yeah, page of pentacles. They were learning. 
yeah, three of cups. Maybe they were having a good time. I don't know. But the hermit is there, taking things slowly. Knight of Pentacles. And going towards someone they're, they see as someone very attractive and admire. Six of Wands, the Empress. Okay. In the past, I feel this person had anxiety about coming towards you. Yeah, they didn't have... They were insecure. They didn't have the confidence to come towards you. And now they want to romance you. Knight of Cups with the Ace of Pentacles. There's judgment here with the Three of Swords. Okay, so healing. There's the King of Pentacles. Yeah, yeah, with the Star. Healing. Justice. Watching. Page of Swords. And looking towards the future. Two of Wands. Cutting out what doesn't serve them. For some of them, they could be going through a divorce. So, let's get some messages here. Let's see. <coughs> yeah, I just saw Sugar Daddy, Sugar Mama. So, they had they had good finances. I don't know whether this is you or them. Take it how it resonates. But there was a, like a moocher here that somebody was with. And there's a, a good connection trying to come together. So if this person wants to confess something to you, uh, you might have met them in the past. I'm not sure. We have soulmates at the bottom. Or they just want to tell you how they feel. That they're crushing on you. Yeah, manifesting. New love. There you go. Alright. So this person wants to tell you how they feel. Yeah, there's a lot of chemistry going to be here. Especially with the lovers, of course. Friends are involved, okay, so asking for advice or something like that. Uh, taking the high road, good for them. Ooh, blind date, okay. Maybe somebody's going to set you up on this blind date. Okay, they may know about this person liking you. There may be some sort of friends trying to put you guys together. Online dating. But we have not ready to commit just yet because there is something happening here. Mm. Yeah, they need to heal their heart. Okay. Yeah. Wow, this person could have been in a situation, whoever that queen of wands, Jezebel energy, whatever that was, or whoever this is, gold digger, they were into, you know, this type of connection, swingers. They regret even getting involved in that type of energy. There's a divorce. Yeah, same sex. So whoever their wife was was into the same sex and swinging and they're in regret over that yeah a marriage that ended in divorce now it could be a same sex situation take it how it resonates either way there was swinging involved and we have oh we have soulmates twin flame and cheater oh boy <laughs> so they could have had a soul tie to that person. 
making love and arguments. Okay, so they were arguing with this person. I think they were they were jealous of you. So they this karmic knows about you. And I feel like they were accusing them of cheating with you. It's because they're insecure because they know you are their twin. You're you're the empress to the emperor. And they could have had a soul tie to this person. Okay? So there's a karmic soul tie. Yeah, a situation ship. Third parties involved. They're moving on from that. Okay? The devil. And this this is an obsessive liar, whoever is um they were dealing with. They're inconsistent, yeah. And jealous. Yeah, exactly. Um, this person definitely fears confessing to you. I feel like you did meet this person before. Um because of their toxicity. You know, the the fact that they were toxic within this connection that they were in. Okay, so they definitely see you as highly intuitive and maybe that you know something something about that or somebody told you about it. So I'm not sure. Okay, there's a little fear on their end. So take that how it resonates. They may fear that you will find out that, you know, through someone else, about the type of relationship they had they are in regret about it whatever they did within that connection that they were in they, I mean they met somebody quite toxic sometimes you meet people that open you up to certain things and then you're like what the fuck then they end up regretting it later you know I guess it was fun while it lasted. <laughs> Those things always end up bad. <laughs> um, okay, so let's see. What's going on here? What does this person want to confess? Ace of Cups. They've been holding some feelings for you. I want to start a family with you. Wow. I am manifesting you. We do have new love. So this this will you choose me? You may have choices, okay? They may see that with new love and manifesting here. So take this reading how it resonates. You hurt me, but that's okay, I guess. So this person could have hurt you. Okay? Don't hurt me no more. That's why they're seeking professional advice. That's why the fear. They could have hurt you when they chose this person. Do you think about me too? That's what they want to know. Yeah, gossip only hurts more. I think so, yes. And, you know, whoever they were with did not like you. Okay? So they could have spread some gossip about you. Somehow they found out about you and they were constantly arguing about you. Yeah, they still don't have all the answers, of course. They don't know how you feel. Yeah, you, you could be more selfish at this time. Maybe this love, maybe this this terrifies you. Okay, with this love scares me. Yeah, you have so many choices and options. Do you even care? Maybe. You matter. I never imagined so much perfection. I lie awake thinking about our future. That's them. And you are my everything. They want to know, have they lost everything? You are so beautiful, why do you need me? There is someone else. I want you to choose. So they do they do see you have options. Okay, we did have soulmate twin flame, so I don't know. And you make my heart full. I have so much desire for you. Now is not the time. 
your family won't like me okay they may feel that way because they were in a toxic energy um, tell me about this new love with manifesting I hope you'll wait for me happiness is my priority yes and I can't even look at you right now why is that there definitely <laughs> okay okay they dream about you a lot too much okay they know happiness is your priority and have I lost everything okay so it's the same person you are so very special I sometimes wonder if you care let me hold you I'm sorry So they're waiting for you. They want a fresh start with you. They're afraid of what you have to say maybe. Words do hurt. They know they were in their ego. Maybe they said something they didn't mean before. And they would do anything for you. Love is the answer. So definitely this is somebody that chose someone else at some point over you in the past and um, chose um, um, a low vibrational person that is promiscuous and th th they knew about you somehow and was jealous of you big time but this is somebody that messes with magic so they found themselves a dark witch is what I'm seeing here Wow. Lured them in. Had them under a spell. Definitely. Alright. But they are letting that go. Or they have already. They're healing. So they're not quite ready yet. But they watch you online. That's what I see. Their friends may be doing something though. To set them up on a blind date. <laughs> so neither one of you will know so I don't know how that's gonna work maybe you guys have some friends in common acquaintances I don't know but uh, that's what I'm seeing there alright guys because <laughs> this person may be too afraid to come towards you alright that's what I have for you Capricorn let me know in the comments if anybody resonates I wish you the best in the situation for those of you who resonate and I'll see you next time peace